Materials for this practical to lab stands. To spring scales. Make sure to slide the cover plate to the zero mark. A hanging object. To G clamps. To meter rulers. Two clamps. Attach both clamps at the top of the lab stand. Place both stands 70 centimeters away from each other. Nice. Now secure both stands with a G clamp. Slide the spring scale on the clamp. On the other side too. Each stand should look like this. Now stretch the string and attach each end to the spring scale hook. Attach the hanging mass in the string knot. The final apparatus should look like this. Place a meter ruler with the centimeter side facing you. Now hold another meter ruler with centimeters facing you making a cross. Make sure to place the zero mark at the string knot. Read the vertical ruler mark above the horizontal ruler, not below. The whole idea is to close a right triangle showing here. Read the marks on the scale in grams. And read the scale on the other side. Measure the sides of this triangle. Draw this diagram and show a B and C, a T1, a T to the angles theta and alpha. Use to meter rulers and measure lengths of B and C. Read each spring scale and record the values of T1 and T2 on your diagram. Draw this table on your lab report. Remember to use a ruler to draw the lines. Use a B and C measurements to calculate angles theta and alpha. Draw separately to write triangles. Use tangent of angles theta and alpha to calculate the value of each angle. Now record the values of your angles in your data table. Draw a vertical and horizontal lines on your diagram. Replace the scales with arrows. Draw a separate grid with all T1, T2, and FG arrows. Now calculate the values of each angle indicated on both right triangles. Draw an arrow for T1, Y. Draw an arrow to T to Y.
Use tangent on both right triangles to calculate the vertical components T1Y and T2Y. Now calculate the value of FG by adding both vertical components. Finally, calculate the value of Fg in Newton showing here. And calculate the values of T1T to T1Y 